Hello, my name is Molly Yannis and I'm with Echo Consulting. And today we're going to do a smart sheet tip. Um, specifically, we're going to be talking about the sum if formula. And so the use case that we have could be that we want to sum um, the children tasks in this example, but only if a certain criteria is made. Or we want to count if a task is complete, but only if a specific criteria is. So we're going to use a sum if functionality. So in this example, I'm using a, one of our, like an example of an invoicing sheet, for example. And I have a project, which I have project 11 for a new client. And there's two different payments, right? And so in this formula, I see that I'm summing the children tasks, which is great, right? But this is summing everything that's like forecast in this. What if I wanted to sum only if an invoice has already been sent or only if an invoice has been paid or something along those lines? So in this case, I'm using what's called a sum if formula, and I'm summing if the children tasks where the children tasks are looking at the invoice sent, whether it is checked or not, okay? And so what I'm gonna do, if I just click enter here, you'll see that in this case right now, it's summing and it's 15,000, the same as the sum. But let's say I remove this invoice sent. Now the actual build amount, right, is only showing the amount of the items that the invoice is sent. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Now, let's say I wanted to go ahead and use this formula again somewhere else and I want to kind of drag it, drop it down. So what I like to do in that case is I like to make sure that um, I use the dollar sign or, or something like that to make sure. So if I wanted to drag and drop it across. So if that case, I want to keep the invoice sent the same, even if I push it across to this other one, what I do is I go into the formula here and I go ahead and put a dollar sign in front of this. And that allows me to go ahead and drag and drop it across horizontally and have that work. Now, see, nothing's here. So let's just say I put 50 here, nothing's showing up. If I put 50 here, it's there. So right again, it's still respecting the invoice sent. And if I look at the formula, it's still showing invoice sent, okay? Now, let's just say I don't have the dollar sign. What does that do? If I drag and drop this across and I don't have the dollar sign, what it does is it actually changes what the reference is to not be invoice sent and instead go to invoice paid, see? So with this one, because I put the dollar sign when I dragged and dropped it across horizontally to the next column, it stayed with the same column. But with here, it's actually looking at the reference. And so this one actually switched it to the invoice paid column. So this is important. Um, and uh, yeah, and so the other piece here is just a quick tip. Um, if I wanted to do this formula, I only want this formula to show up, for example, um, in the parent columns. So in this case, what I'm doing is here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop this down, right? And it's going to go ahead and only do the parent. So if I go here, I'm still seeing the actual data. Um, if I had if I had dragged and dropped this all the way down or um, created it as a column formula instead, it would have overwritten all of the, the child um, components here. So uh, again, tip or trick, my name is Molly Giannis. In this case, what we were talking about is the use case where you want to sum, in this case, children or sum any sort of rows based on a specific criteria. So we were using the sum if function, we were using the children function because we are able to have this hierarchical way. And we did talk just a little bit about making sure that we use the dollar sign if we're going ahead and dragging drop across and we wanna keep our column formulas the same. So I hope this is helpful. The use cases that our clients oftentimes use this for are for you know, counts of approvals or reviews, um, sums, some ifs and everything like that. Um, and uh, lots more functionality. Again, my name is Molly Giannis. I'm with Echo Consulting. We help clients with work management implementation. Smartsheet's one of our favorite platforms. We have lots of videos on Smartsheet tips and tricks and use cases. So if you're interested, please don't hesitate to follow so you can get new videos and or check out our website, Echo uh, projectmanagement.com. And uh, we love to help and we love to hear uh, from followers that are building awesome things in Smartsheet and other work management platforms. Molly Anas, Echo Consulting. Thank you.